in El Paso, Texas. I didn't realize how big El Paso was. It takes a long time to El Paso, Texas. But the Supercharger is at a diner right next to a Hilton. Of course, right next to Mexico. And great start to the day. I've been making good time. I've had some good naps. The sun's out, it's freaking bright. We're charged up enough to get to the next one. Today's gonna be a great day. I'm gonna get to my brother's house and put the wheels on. I'll show you the wheels today. The ones that are sponsored by EV Tuning and Electrify Garage. That'll be later though. So I am finally out of Texas. We're into New Mexico now and our next supercharger is not for another 78 miles. This is a lot of flat scenery with some nice mountains. The scenery of this whole trip has been pretty good. I mean, obviously not at nighttime. I should get to my brother's house, I think around three or four o'clock today, depends on how I feel, as far as if I need a nap or not. So I've been driving for quite a long time now. I, I didn't get a hotel. I, I rested at a hotel for, a, a, actually rested at a gas station for about three hours or two and a half hours uh, last night and it got up and I had plenty of energy. I've only taken two five-hour energies. One the first night when I took off, I took a, a five-hour energy, and then uh, this morning I took five-hour energy as the sun was rising behind me, because uh, I, I started driving quite early. Didn't want to fall back into that fatigue like it hit the snooze alarm. But this is really beautiful. I, you know, I'm, I'm kind of curious to see what this uh, New Mexico supercharger is going to be because I think it's kind of out in the desert. I haven't run into too many issues except for in Louisiana with a speeding ticket. And rarely have I seen a Tesla. Rarely. That'll change in LA. I haven't videotaped much today because I've been just driving through what seems like the same scenery over and over and over. Just a bunch of nothing, a bunch of dried nothing like this. Same thing, there's, there's mountains over there, there's dirt over here, and that's what it's been forever with straight, straight roads of nothingness. Since I've been in New Mexico and now in Arizona, it's looked everything looks the same. I mean, I do want to stop at a couple places on the way back. I've, I've kind of put some mental notes in so I can get some cool pictures, but, but yeah, it looks like there's a storm coming and hopefully there's not a storm by the time I get to my brother's house. I'll be, I should be there like three o'clock or so. This supercharger is off the highway enough where it's not too noisy, but the internet's not good here. I was going to do a live video about what my thoughts were on the the truck event. Maybe we'll do that with a few people tomorrow or even before the event. Or I'm going to a couple meetups and I'm taking a couple people. But anyway, I don't have that much longer, which I'm so thankful because I <laughs> I have not had much sleep at all. I think at what time? Seven, six, five, four. At four o'clock. When I get to my brother's house, it'll be 20, no, 40, geez, uh, 40, 47 hours of driving, is that right? Holy crap, 47 hours on the road when I get to my brother's house, roughly. And uh, I'm tired, but I've had about five hours of sleep. I've, I've been quite fine this whole trip. I haven't gotten really tired at all. Uh, I mean, I'm pretty much not doing much. I'm just kind of sitting there enjoying the, the view out the window. It's like I'm watching a movie of someone driving. Bob needs a bath. Let me show you, Bob really needs a bath. Now I've got, I've got my racing pads on the front, so that's a lot of brake dust from the racing pads, and it's gone down the side of the car. He's squatting down a little bit because of the wheels that you'll see later on. Lots of bugs. No damage so far. A little bit of tire. These tires are probably going to be done by the time I get back. This driving in high heat and high speed is not good for those back tires. These front ones aren't too bad. I might just get two, uh, two of these and put them on the back because uh, I have the other wheels that I don't want to use all the time because they're some special ones. And if you'd like to go back and look at some of my tweets, I've been doing a lot of tweeting this whole trip because it's really boring in this drive. Just trying to document some things and having fun, goofing around a little bit. Looks like we can take off. One more supercharger stop before Phoenix. Scenery starting to change. We're getting closer to the mountains, although getting closer to weather. Looks like it's raining over there. Hopefully it doesn't come all the way over here. Hopefully I make it to Phoenix or to my brother's house before it rains. And uh, although 
Bob could use a wash. He can use an 80 mile an hour wash. View. We're finally out of the heavy rain. I did not film anything in the rain because I had to pay close attention because there was a heavy downpour in Tucson, Arizona. Um, my brother had texted me and said, hey, be careful because the rain is pretty strong. The water doesn't soak into the ground like it does other places here in Arizona, which creates flash flooding. So that was the case because there was some standing water in some of the roads that while I was driving through Tucson, there was different types of pavement that actually had some standing water in there. And it was like a foam on top of the water and it was a little slippery. So I had to go extra slow, uh, make sure we get to the supercharger in one piece and make sure we get to California in one piece. We're gonna be at the supercharger in 25 minutes and then we can fill up enough to get to my brother's house. Or actually a little bit more because uh, he doesn't have an electric car so he does not have, he doesn't have 220 charging. But once I get to his house I can finally rest. It's been a long, long two days of driving. Almost two full days. So I left my brother's house this morning and I'm heading to the first supercharger. You can hear uh, the car telling me I'm going to Buckeye and we're heading to LA today. The rain doesn't look that fun today. It doesn't look that fun for my new tires because they're not really good rain tires. We're going to see how they do in the rain so far. It's not too bad, but um, hopefully we stay alive. Superchargers are right there. Now the rain is right there. Looks like we can get some food to eat. Nice Model X with some wheels on it. Just plugged in here at Buckeye. It's starting to ramp up a little bit, but we're we have a long day today, heading all the way out to Hawthorne. Looks like I might be able to get to Hawthorne, the SpaceX Center, at 6:30 today. That's a lot more driving. You know, yesterday I got to my brother's house and I kind of stopped with all the social media stuff because it was it was a long, long day, long trip, well, two days really. Relax, get a shower, change out my wheels, and I'll show you the wheels. But it's kind of it's kind of crappy here. Kind of want to wait to show you when it's nice and sunny out because I really haven't seen it when it's nice and sunny out. So we're going to be heading all the way out to California. That's a giant storm I hope we don't hit. Looks like we're gonna just squeak right by it, thankfully. Um, that last supercharger in Quartz site was really slow. It took forever. Hopefully I have enough. I need 111 miles to get to the next supercharger, but with this rain and wind, uh, and we got 192 miles on the car, it's gonna be tight. I might have to slow down to make it to my destination on time. Right now I'm still going the speed limit, but way out here in the desert, speed limits are fast. They're 75, 80 miles an hour, so Hope we make it. There's no other supercharger in between, but there probably is some destination chargers, different places that I can add a couple if I needed to, but that just adds to the day. And I don't want to do that if I don't have to. So I made it all the way to SpaceX, but not in time for the, uh, for the tour, unfortunately. I ended up getting rear-ended in in the city somewhere in LA and it was just a small fender bender. I got her information and I want to see in the daylight, see if there's any problems with it. But I pulled all the way, since I came to SpaceX anyway, I pulled all the way over to the design studio to see about plugging into the 220, the, the 250 charger and I'm still not getting anything big. Now granted my car is almost halfway full I'm not going to get that 250, but I, I thought it would be a little bit more than that. But anyway, yeah, that's where I'm at. I'm at the design studio. I went inside to go to the bathroom while I was here, and they were setting up for the truck event, which is really awesome. Um, they kicked everyone out as they were because there was people on the, on the announcer, and they were going over some stuff. Uh, but they ended up kicking everybody out because they're going to go over the whole thing. Probably Elon's there, or they're just going over... Um, 
what they're going to say and what they're going to do. Uh, but it's inside just like the Model Y event, and uh, it's pretty exciting. You won't see this until after the event, but uh, it's really cool to go in there and sit down and listen to them. I did hear a couple things. I don't know if they were just talking about the semi or the truck. Tomorrow's the event. It's going to be amazing. It's going to be awesome. I'm going to be going to sleep soon. I need some sleep. It's been a long day. I got a hotel um, right next to right next to the Tesla event. I was gonna drive up to Howard, subscriber. He was offering up his house. Um, that's another 45 minutes up the, up the road, almost in Malibu. And I'm just exhausted, I really am. I, I needed a place to stay so I can be here early, bright and early, go to the events. And this is a nice hotel room. It's kind of set up for a long stay as there's a kitchen over here, big TV, living room, all the stuff. I've already got some of the stuff spread out. I'd rather have one king bed but because i'm tall but that's all right got a cool lighting situation here i can flip it around and do my uh intros here i'm gonna get some sleep i'm exhausted i'll see you tomorrow Good morning, everybody. Today is Cyber Thursday. Is that a thing? Cyber Thursday. Today is going to be an amazing day. It's going to break the internet. Getting ready to go to some meetups and see a bunch of you guys, hopefully. Talk to a bunch of Tesla people that are super excited. Hopefully, they're wearing their cyberpunk gear. I'm not. I'm wearing my I want Tesla shirts because I got to represent the brand. I did the video packing up my stuff at home. And let me show you the book bag that I got that was sent to me by Level 8. Here is the book bag from Level 8. It's, it's hard to see because it's not very lit in this room and the sun's on the other side of the building, but it is a laptop book bag. And what the coolest part is, you got a little pouch here, but check this out. Look at that protection for your laptop. Laptop slides right in and it's gonna protect it really good. Uh, it's gonna make it really nice to, to carry, really padded if you drop it, you're not gonna damage anything. Uh, and that's a separate piece, that like a clamshell that opens up. On top you have this giant handle that is, that is reinforced with wire, so you can really grab this and sling this around. It's not gonna, uh, you're not gonna have anything break on you. But inside you have another giant pocket. I know it's hard to see in there because it's all black, but you got a spot for an iPad. You got another pocket here. You got a deep pocket here with a folding base, padded base, which is really nice. You have a an quick access port right here for all your belongings, like your wallet, maybe some cash. You have a dead cat in here. I don't know how that got it. <laughs> but you have zip up pockets, places for pens, your phone, things like that. And it is just a wonderful bag. But what I'm gonna really like about this is, cause I'm taking this to the truck event, this back area here. This is really awesome how you have airflow, these channels that go through here, and it's gonna help your back breathe. With These are really soft pads to begin with, so it's gonna feel really nice on your back, but it's gonna allow the air to get back in here. And the, another great part is once you have this thing loaded up, you have these straps here that you can hook things to, but this first section is elastic. So if you're, if you're walking around, you have something heavy, it's not, it's not gonna feel as heavy because you have some elasticity there and uh, it's just an awesome bag. Thank you Level 8 for sending this out to me. I'm gonna be able to put everything in there. Uh, I have a lens, I have an extra lens on this side just in case the truck is far away from us. I do plan on getting there early, so I'm front row. I'm able to put all this stuff in there, plus some other gear that I have charging over here and have plenty of space for everything. This 20 inch bag that they sent, uh, perfect, it perfectly fits in the front, has all my, all my stuff in here for the trip. And uh, thank you Level 8 for sending all this out. And if you'd like to get one, there's a link down below. It's not gonna damage anything, it's not gonna scratch. And if you're looking for a book bag, a computer book bag, this is the way to go, for sure. Hey, you're coming with me. You're coming with me, come on, let's go.
we're live on YouTube. Oh, there we go. There's Brian. Mr. I want to How's it going, man? Good. Everything good? Brian! Look at that. Cyberpunk? Is that Cyberpunk enough? I'm sweating balls. In yeah. Here. <laughs> It was nice and cool on the plane, and actually... You wore that on the plane? I wore this on the plane, through the airport, and I got three compliments. <laughs> not about the event. That's the funny thing is, uh, they were complimenting on, wow, oh, I love your cyberpunk gear, and I'm like, is this becoming a thing? Are we gonna have to actually now start wearing cyberpunk gear? <laughs> I'm dressing up, I'm wearing this. As you should, that's how people know you. See, people are gonna be like, who is this guy? Like, I don't know this guy. Stop vandalizing my car. <laughs> yep. So Kuai just uh, signal my Chinese name. Yeah, perfect. Yeah. That's a good spot right here. Yeah. That's perfect. Where, okay. where can I sign? Anywhere. Anywhere. Uh, try right here or... I recorded much today. <laughs> One day I'm going to film a behind the scenes of your video. <laughs> Bunch of me stuttering. Right. <laughs> <laughs>